I'm Dave Carvajal. This is Thunder Wisdom and Insights with some of my favorite leaders on the planet. So, hi, my name is Chris Hummel. I am an Irish Italian from Boston who speaks fluent Russian with a German last name and lived seven years in Singapore. <laughs> so go figure where that comes from. But I, I guess that probably, you know, other than starting in a small town outside Boston with relatively modest means and growing up, uh, you know, uh, playing sports, doing all those kinds of things, I think from a career perspective, the most interesting part is I really started out wanting to be a diplomat. So I was going through the State Department uh, process of how to become a diplomat to ultimately stamp visas and grow up and hopefully someday become an ambassador. And along the way, I tripped up and fell into this business thing where I started working with some of the biggest tech companies in the world, Apple, AT&T, and then ultimately Oracle, where I landed. Um, my first job was actually in Kazakhstan. So I opened the office in Kazakhstan and literally had to worry about how do I get my email dial up at three o'clock in the morning? And where do I get fax paper and open an office in a very entrepreneurial environment, yet within a company that at the time was only about two, three billion dollars, not the Oracle we know today, but grew that up, uh, you know, expanded that career, Oracle SAP um, for a company that's now called Unify, actually just been bought by Atos, and ultimately with Schneider Electric, uh, 30 billion dollar conglomerate, have held a number of sales, marketing, business development, channel, operations, uh, those kind of roles. So I've had the fortune of working with businesses that are going up and the fortune and the, I'd say fortune of working with businesses that were going down as well. But if you really want to capture it in just a few key numbers, from a marketing perspective, a business development perspective, I've personally generated programs and executed programs worth several tens of billions of dollars. So probably somewhere around 25, 30 billion dollars worth of hard, cold sales opportunities I've actually created. Now from the sales point of view, I've probably sold one and a half to two billion in terms of personally the sales teams that I was leading to kind of generate that. But if you really want to take an interesting look at the numbers from sort of where I go or where I've come from, I look at the legacy that I left behind in terms of people. So one of the numbers I like best is I think there are seven chief marketing officers who grew up learning from me. Now I'm still a relatively young guy, but I think that's a great achievement to sort of have that, you know, coaching tree you would call it in sports that I've been able to generate.